Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Teshua Community. I am Ima Rafaya, and today we have a great delight for you all that are listening, because when we come, when I come to you, I'm coming to the daughters only. I'm not here to instruct men, only the women. But the little special treat I have for you daughters today is in our classroom, our children have written about two animals, the elephant and the lion. And the one that they like best, they wrote a report on that animal this morning. So this morning we're going to start with Dawid. He's going to come forth and read what he has written about the animal he likes best. Shalom, elephants. Elephants are huge animals. They have big tusks that are just teeth. Elephants have big ears and a big head. They also have strong also have a strong trunk, which is used for showering and eating. Elephants are the biggest animal on land. And did you know elephants fight with their trunks? And elephant herds are led by an old female. And here's the picture I colored and drew. Very tough, Dawid. All right, now we'll have Yahuda. Yahuda is going to talk about his animal that he likes best. Elephants. Elephants are the biggest animal on land. They have the biggest trunks. And did you know that elephants can fight with their trunks? Very tough, Yahuda. Show the picture of your elephant. Very tough. Excellent, excellent. All right, we're going to hear from Tifra. Tifra, would you come forward? Lions. Lions are the strongest predators, but the females are stronger. Very tough, Tifra. You can tell that's a girl lion. Roar! All right, let's hear from Davida next. Davida. Elephants. Elephants are the biggest animals on land. Elephants have strong hand, heads and ears, and their trunks are used for picking up things and showering. And elephants were trained to help work. Very tough, Davida. Give Davida a big hand. All right, let's hear from Zakari, the animal he likes best. The lion. The lions are one of my favorite animals I want to see. The female lion is weaker than the male lion. The male lion has a beautiful mane and it is large. And the female lion does, does the hunting. But the female lion does not have a mane, and she takes tough care of her cubs. Very tough, the Kariai. All right, let's hear from Sophonia. Sophonia, come on up. Elephants. Elephants are the strongest animals on land in I like. I like elephant. Show the picture of your elephant. Very tough, Sophonia. All right, Leve is next. Let's hear from Leve. The lion. Lions are big cats. Male lions are very big. They have a thick mane. Female lions are tough at hunting. Lions are very strong. Baby lions are called cubs. A family of lions are called a pride. Very tough, Leve. Very tough. Thank you, class. This is first grade to the third grade. Fourth grade, I'm sorry, fourth grade. All right, this morning, daughters, the scripture I'm going to share with you. I like children, always have. Hallelujah. But the scripture I'm going to share with you today is coming from Psalms to Helium. 119 verse 66 
And Rayab taught about this on the Shabbat. He talked about judgment. And I know we as a people, we always think that when you say the word judgment, that means judge somebody else. We never consider we must judge ourselves. We must make sure that we're doing that which is righteous according to the Torah. So I want to read. I'm sorry, I haven't even turned to it. Well, I have it re written here. It says, teach me tough judgment and knowledge, for I have believed your commandments, Almighty Yah. So in order for us to know how to judge ourselves, we must be taught the commandments of Almighty Yah. We must hear the messenger, and we must discipline ourselves, that we must judge ourselves righteously. Not once a month, daughters. Not once a week. It's something we must do every day of our lives. Because our thoughts, our thoughts are always right concerning us. We can see everybody else's faults, but we never see ours. So judgment starts first here. That we do everything according to this Torah. Every day. Every day. I must see my, how can I help anybody else if I don't judge me first? I must do that which is righteous in order to help you daughters. I've been young, and I can look back and see all the things that I did that weren't right. And as I've heard this word, this truth, it has made me free. It makes me look at me and do that which is right, because I don't want to see anybody else fall. I want to do that which is right. And I want to see you do that which is right. Hallelujah. My next verse is coming from Yakahan, chapter 5, verse 30. It says, can I of my own self do nothing? Can I tell you, those we can do nothing without Almighty Yah? Yahshua HaMashiach has come and he set the pattern. The only thing we have to do is follow. It says, as I hear, I judge. No, you don't have to worry about judging nobody else. You judge yourself. And my judgment is just. Our judgment must be righteous. Because I seek not my own will. We come not to do my own thing, but we come to do the will of Almighty Yah. It says, but the will of the Abba, which has sent me. We are sent to do the will of Almighty Yah. We are the people of Yah. Yah has created us to walk in righteousness, to cast out every evil and wicked thing that would exalt itself in, in your mind. It exalts itself here. It tells you you don't have to do this. You don't have to keep the commandments. That's a lie. We must keep the commandments of Almighty Yah every day. So every day you have to judge yourself. You have to examine yourself. Yah, did I do that which was righteous before you? Who are you walking with? We must walk with Almighty Yah every day. So we told y'all we're just as brief, but we just wanted to come before you for a minute to share this truth with you. If you hear the messenger, what I share with you, you can receive that two daughters. So y'all would Baruch you on this excellent Yam Hashishi, and we'll be back with you next week. I want to bring an elder to you all on next week. The eldest amongst us is Ema Sabea. Ema Sabea, in the month of June, she'll be 83 years old. Can I tell you, she doesn't have high blood pressure. She doesn't have sugar diabetes. She walks twice a day, sometimes three times a day. And the food that we eat here is blessed of Almighty Yah. She eats the food here. She doesn't go to restaurants. She eats the food here that is set before us because it's been blessed by the man, man of Yah. So next week we're going to bring Ema Sabea so you can see her. And she's in tough health. Hallelujah. So we told her, y'all, again, we are here at Teshua Community. This is the place that Yah has established. Yahweh Baruch, you all. Have an excellent Shabbat. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, this is Kefra. And this is Raya. Now tell them, what are you going to tell them? Say, please like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Say, shalom. shalom. What do you want to say? Okay. okay Look right so here.
Do you know elephants fight with the drunks? They was a blood and they stomped their feet very hard and they drank everything and they put people out of their way. Oh, okay, that's what elephants do. Tell me about something, Raya. The giraffes. Giraffes? Okay, tell me about the giraffes. Giraffes and... Oh, look at me. Look at me. Are they well, tall? The flower dog. Yeah, the flower's dead. Okay, look. Look at me. Is it tall? <laughs> tell them about the giraffe. Giraffe is tall. Oh, okay. All right. Say shalom, everyone. Shalom, everyone.